Hey guys, Johnny here, back with more Call of Duty Mobile. Garena just released a brand new trailer video on their YouTube channel, and they discussed the top five changes upcoming for season three. So we will discuss these changes today, and I'm gonna ask you what is your most anticipated change for the next season? What makes you the most excited? And I'll tell you mine at the end of the video. But let's start guys, because they show a lot about the upcoming battle pass, the new season pass, for season three so it's very exciting guys so make sure you watch the whole video so let's start with the five most important changes to season three number one is the new maps they will add not only new multiplayer maps but also a new battle royale map so the new multiplayer maps are scrapyard and cage and it's also super refreshing to have some new maps because it's been a while now the game launched in october so it's gonna bring some fresh air to the multiplayer if you play a lot of multiplayer every day since launch uh yeah it's the same maps again and again they're finally going to remove hijack from the ranked playlist so it's also a pretty good change now the battle royale there's been a rift in the sky for a few weeks i would say and they say now the rift will open for season three and what will the future bring to us is it cool is it dangerous like we don't know much they want to keep the surprise for season three so let's see what's gonna happen guys there's a lot of rumors possibly the new chernobyl map that's been leaked on twitter already so let's see what's gonna happen with that now the second change is definitely a new battle pass i know a lot of guys are excited for the new season pass and they actually show a lot of stuff the number one change to the battle pass is they're gonna reduce the maximum tiers to 50 instead of 100 and they say we are going to get the same value so i cannot wait to see it for real now if you look carefully in the video we see some new character skins that we will get in the season pass the phantom the most anticipated character skin from day one i think some guys were already waiting for it and we'll have a second character once again two seasons in a row two soldier skins on the battle pass now here we have a glimpse of what to expect in the season 3 battle pass crate and you see there's an epic weapon and a mardi gras pdw mardi gras probably the most beautiful skin added in season 3 pdw pretty decent weapon i know it's not the best smg but i really want to get my hands on that one guys because i think it's beautiful now once again a bunch of skins for vehicles including a chopper skin i want all the chopper skins here we have a look at tiers 15 to 21 uh some blue crates on the free pass some purple crates on the bottom you see the translucent magnum at tier 20 a bunch of operator skills for battle royale and you see the Chicom and the free-to-play vehicle skin now if we keep going we see a striker on the free-to-play a rare striker skin probably meteors but it's not clear and you see the atv skin on the bottom again now on the bottom left you see the tier one definitely phantom it looks like a dlq skin and a tier five a pulsar backpack and once again, the last reward, the Type 25 that we have seen in previous videos, has been leaked a while ago. That is the final reward on the Battle Pass. Now the next highlight is the 20 versus 20 Battle Royale. They say it's a mix of Team Deathmatch and Battle Royale. I don't know if you guys tried the mode yet. It's pretty chaotic. It's a lot of fun and it's not ranked, so it doesn't really matter what happens. You play for fun. It's very crazy. I did enjoy the few games that I played. I didn't really like it at the start, but I end up enjoying it a lot. Now, big change number four, a new zombie map. Guys, they say zombie mode, DLC zombie mode. Cannot wait to play a new one because usually, guys, when you play Call of Duty Zombies in all the previous COD games, you usually have more than one zombie map. You don't play the same map every day for two months. So that one is an old school one, Night of the Undead, and it's gonna be, again, very refreshing to play a different map. They seem to be adding new bosses also, you see in the trailer. So yeah, really excited for the zombie map. Now the last change is a new reporting system right in the game screen. After a game, you can tap to report a player. So if you see something fishy, you can report. It's a good addition, but it's maybe bad at the same time because... You know, some guys are just actually good at the game and I would not like to see just a bunch of losers reporting the same guy just because he's good. I know some guys, they think they're the best and anytime they lose, they see hackers and cheaters everywhere. 
So I hope some innocent players will not get banned because of the new feature. But once again, I know they want a clean environment and hopefully it's going to be working in a good way. Now on top of these five changes, one of the most exciting thing is we got new stuff in the credit shop. People have been waiting forever. So let's go guys. Let's buy everything today. I have plenty. And the best news is the free ICR1 Meteors. The ICR1 was only a paid weapon up until now. And now you guys can have it for free if you have credits. Credits are free. Just play every day. Get your free ICR1. Um, and we'll see later in another video. Is it really good? Like why people were complaining that much about that weapon being locked behind a paywall. Uh, we got a brand new BY15 first weapon with the new year skin here. And yeah, Chinese New Year, I guess. It's pretty cool. It's gold and red or something. Next one is the Mardi Gras pistol. I told you guys already, I love the Mardi Gras skin. Pistol, it's a classic, the MW11. And probably the most beautiful skin in season three, guys. I don't know, leave me a comment below how you like that skin. But I think it's probably a top two skin in the game right now. Now another Meteors for the BK57, we're gonna buy that one also. And the last one is the Gridiron Football. That would probably be the worst skin in the game. It's ugly AF guys. I'm just gonna buy it because I buy everything. But there you go. I still have 40k credits and everything is gone. So people will start complaining tomorrow. I know other people in my situation. Uh, we'll start complaining in about a day or two. Hey, we need more stuff in the credit shop. It takes forever. We have nothing to buy, blah, blah, blah. But we definitely need a soldier skin in there, guys. Not kidding. They need to add a soldier skin. So, yeah, that's it for now, guys. I said, tell me in the comments what is your most anticipated feature for Season 3. And I'll tell you mine. I think, honestly, is the zombie mode, the new zombie map. Because I love zombies. And I cannot wait to try the new one, guys. So that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a comment, hit the like, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty Mobile videos. I'll be back soon. Take care. Hey there, soldiers. Season 3 brings a whole lot of exciting new changes to the game. And today, we bring you the top 5 changes you must know going into Season 3. The future is now. In Season 3, we bring two whole new maps to the multiplayer mode. A military airplane wasteland, Scrapyard, and a classic from the COD series, Cage. These maps are a polar opposite of each other. While Scrapyard offers a map that depends on teamwork and strategy, Cage offers a consistent flow of chaotic action. We also bring a special addition to the Battle Royale map. A rift has opened in the sky, and the ominous gap is not closing. What does the future hold in store for us? Brand new Season 3 Battle Pass has arrived with its main captain, Future Warrior Phantom. The brand new Battle Pass contains some of the favorite weapons that form Phantom's custom battle reef. We have lowered the tiers required to get the highest reward to 50 while maintaining the value of all the rewards. Let's grind for more value. The most anticipated game mode of Season 3 is the 20 vs 20 BR mode. In this mode, we mix our classic TDM and BR mode into one crazy mashup. Immerse yourself in a warfare-like environment where chaos and fierce battles are a norm. It is a time-limited mode, so enjoy it to the maximum before it disappears. In Season 3, the future is now, the zombie mode will be a downloadable content on top of the main game file. So those who want to slay some undead, please remember to download the mode in-game first. We also bring a brand new map into zombie mode, another classic from the COD Black Ops series, Nachenden und Toten, which means Night of the Undead in German. This classic map brings a new twist to our new zombie mode, so download and enjoy being the ultimate zombie slayer. We have listened to your feedback and worked on our anti-cheating system. So in this season, after you report a player who you suspect is cheating or hacking or is using any offensive language, we will follow up with a mail on the progress of your report. If the ban is successful, we will send a message saying that it was successful and vice versa if your reporting has failed. 
Call of Duty Mobile wants to be responsible for every report submitted and takes hacking very seriously in our new season.